right now by Cal State San Bernardino men's basketball team, coming off a 74-67 win in the semifinals of the 2024 CCA men's basketball tournament. I'm joined right now by head coach Gus Agnall. On his right, we have Leandro Knight, and on his left, Robbie Robinson. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, it's a, it's a great win for our program. Um, throughout the year, our battles with East Bay were that. Two really tough five games where they got us on the road and at home. Going into tonight, we knew it was going to be the exact same thing. So um, defensively, we knew it was going to be a battle. Offensively, getting to our shots, it was just going to be a really tough CC2A conference tournament game. Um, and I think that as a, as a team, we have great respect for them. Coach Rooney and I are close friends. Um, so we know what they're going to bring and, and the battle is going to be. But I'm really proud of our team, how they fought, how they competed, and then obviously led by our, our group of seniors. So it was an exciting game, and a hard fought one. I think always one of those cliches in basketball is it's so hard to beat a, th a team three times. <laughs> yeah. You beat them earlier. Andrew, can you talk to me a little bit about that sequence? And was this a team you were hoping to face when you had a chance to face them or Chico coming into this one? Yeah, I mean, in a way, you you know, you got to go through everybody to get to where you want to get. And we felt like, especially that one at their house, got slipped away from us. And we didn't play very well. We shot 30%. And we knew, like he said, like coming in tonight, we knew it was going to be scrappy, come down to the last few minutes. And, uh, I think we we're well prepared and, you know, going to that last media, I think we got stops and finished at the rim and executed and that's why we had success tonight. So we just overcame a lot, but give credit to them too. They're a very good team. They play hard for 40 minutes and, uh, but we're moving on. So I'm happy about that. Another part I thought was very scrappy part of that game was just the battle on the boards. There was a lot of stuff on there. Robbie, you're out there smiling because you're the one I want to talk to. 12 rebounds out there, but those, none of those ones really came easy. Can you talk to just the just the big bodies that were out there trying to get those rebounds. Uh, there's a physical team. I mean, Grady Lewis, uh, Canaris, and you know, the guards are scrappy too. You know, they're throwing multiple bodies at me and Lee um, on both sides of the floor. So uh, it's a physical game, honestly. Um, but we knew rebounding was going to be a key part of winning the game. You know, we beat them on the boards, we're going to win games. And hopefully we can do that again tomorrow. One more quick one. The thing that I also see very unique, Robbie, you guys only have six players. So it must take a lot of energy to continue on that one. How do you guys do it with kind of such a short rotation to, and play so physical throughout the whole game? Uh, we just lean on each other a lot. Um, it's our last year here, and we want to give it all we can. We had made a Final Four run last year, and um, that's the goal to get back there again and win a national championship. So we leave it all on, all on the court and um, come out with a win. You, know? you guys were able to get out to leads in the first half, but they kept finding a way to, to even the score. How frustrating was that? <laughs> well, they're playing, so they probably don't get as frustrated as I do. I'm watching them and cheering them on and, you know, all that. But I think that throughout the game, like, it's our job to try to find what's working. And you try to just keep reminding them, hey, if it's Robbie, you know, he's getting double teamed. How do you fight through the double team and find the open guys or step through and finish his shots? We're trying to help his life. We're trying to figure out a way to get him open around the basket. So all, you know, it's frustrating. But I thought that we kept on getting back to what works for us, which is trying to take good shots trying to be solid defensively, not give them easy looks because they drive the ball so hard. Um, but it was frustrating, definitely. There, But that's what these games come down to. You, If you're going to extend on somebody, you have to play lights out. And I think we played pretty well, but to get to that point, that you have to, you have to just be like on fire, right? And both teams weren't that, but both teams were just fighting and competing with each other the whole way through. Uh, you shot better in the second half than yeah. in the first. It seemed like making the extra pass. 100%. It, like it was important tonight. Can you guys speak to that? Yeah, go ahead if you guys. Uh, for us, I, so that's a big thing for us. You know, I, we have a lot of talent out there with the five that we should have out there on the floor. And when we get three, four, or five passes and find someone cutting, that's our best basketball. And that's how we've had a lot of success this year. So in our timeouts, you know, even in our little huddle, that free throws, we said, get back to what was working, you know. And down the line, our, our cuts, you know, baseline. And they were kind of doubling a lot with when Robbie had the ball. So we were like, okay, as soon as someone goes, have someone cut, you know. And I think we excelled there. And, that was, that's a big part of our game, and when that's uh, working well, we have a lot of success, and we need to continue that tomorrow. Robbie? I think yeah, had, I mean. I think you led the team in assists, you yeah. <clears> know? <throat> Almost, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, just uh, game double yeah. team has been like all season. Yeah. So, you know, I can't I can't force to score out of the double. I got to find guys like Lee cutting, Evan cutting, Seth cutting, just to make the easier pass so they can't double as much, you know? So I just lean on, on these guys just to – be under the rim and just find the open person, honestly. And I think one thing with Robbie throughout the year has been really unselfish. You know, I think it was a learning process. Actually, East Bay was the first team to really double Robbie. And so that started that. That was early on in the season. So he's really, you know, grown and matured with that and then find, found ways to score when the, the double's late. So it's just 
progression of our team. But I think sharing the ball for us is huge. Like when the guy's open, our role is throw the ball. Like throw the ball ahead as much as we can. Throw the ball ahead in transition. So when we're doing that, we're really hard to guard. The turnovers for both teams, you guys ended up with fewer than they did, but it was, seemed like it was a, a factor of the intensity of the game more than loose balls or carelessness. Can you also speak to that? Yeah. They're a pick 16, they're a momentum team. We talked a lot about it. They go for shot blocks. They try to make plays in, in the passing lanes. So when we got our leads, to back to your first original question, when we lost them, it was because we were giving up pick six turnovers. We were kind of, you know, maybe a back tap here, a loose ball here. And when you give them two or three layups, then that cuts the lead to four or five. And so again, we're just trying to, to take care of it, jump stop in the paint, be solid. I don't know if these guys have anything else with that. So uh, just to understand, we got to understand more to slow it down at times. I feel like a few of those turnovers, we were going too fast. It's an intensity of the game, but uh, I mean, as long as we finished with less, you know, you know, we can't have high turnover. So I think in the second half, we did a better job of taking care of the ball. And that showed a big difference, you know, and I think we forced them into tough shots and turning over towards the end. And that's why we came out on top tonight. Yeah, yep. I would say like, <clears throat> they are a big 16. And um, I think some of us got kind of trigger happy towards the end of the game, trying to like make the home run play. And, you know, if the huddle up to say, you know, let's take it back to what's working. I slow the ball down, make them guard, and get to the rim. You know, and then we got to the bonus, make free throws, and then just finish the game. My last question, you got the dunk. To finish it off. What's that feel like? Oh, man, that that was momentum changing, you know. My eyes got big. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> let's go. So I was just happy to see the crowd, you know, enjoy it. You know, I think that was just like a statement dunk and, like, just shows like we're on our way to victory. And uh, just a big moment, happy moment, and do that in front of the home crowd. So that's. Yeah, another question on that home crowd. I mean, getting to host the CCAA championships, that's a once every 12 years kind of thing. And doesn't necessarily mean that you're in the tournament. You could be hosting it. You could be sitting at home. Right. Um, How does it feel to get that win at home, be playing in the championship on your home court? Um, and uh, really, uh, for you guys playing here for no more than four years, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, it feels great. I mean, last year we were in the den the whole season. We had to go to play Loma for the regionals. So playing here um, is a great feeling. A great crowd. Um, other student athletes are supporting us. Uh, local people are supporting us. Our families are coming down, so it's a great feeling. Probably going to get more fans tomorrow. One last question for you, Andrew. Yesterday, um, Cal State East Bay hit 10, 10 three pointers. I think they're ten for twenty two from behind the three point line, and everybody was that was kind of what they're talking about. Was that a point of emphasis for you guys today to make sure you you limited? Both yeah, of we shot? felt like you know yesterday they got hot from the three point line, and not a big three point team, but if they see them go in, you know that can make them get a big lead and get momentum. So for us to limit that tonight, that was a big emphasis. We, in our game time before, we are like, yeah. don't leave them open for threes. Yeah. You know, we got some guys that are solid shooters, can hit it if they're open. So we were kind of an emphasis on that and relied on our help, you know, make them drive in the traffic. And I think for the most part, it worked tonight. And they finished with, I think, three threes for the night yep. instead of 10. <laughs> yep. So I think it's a big difference, you know. That's huge difference. So I think our game plan worked and it, it worked in our favor, so. Thank you very much. Coach? We know who your, your opponent will be tomorrow. You guys are facing Cal State LA. I believe you guys split the season series with them as well. What can fans expect to see in the CCA Tournament Championship game tomorrow night at 8 o'clock? Well, they're a fast-paced team. They're a dribble drive offensively team. They knock down threes, so we're going to have to guard the three really well. Uh, but you're going to see really two, you know, again, tough teams. You know, they play together. They have high assists. Um, should be a really, really fun, athletic, tough, physical, but really skilled game as well. Um, so we're excited for it. Again, for us to be hosting the championship, you know, and to be there tomorrow night for these guys, like, couldn't be more excited. And obviously for Cal State LA to be there as well, two teams that are one and two in the region should be a great game. Well, fantastic. We can't wait to see that game tomorrow. And best of luck to you and your team. Thank, Thank you so you. much, guys. Wow.